The number one killer is time. It destroys us all. This is what you need to know. Time broke. A growing fracture leading to the end of time. We went after a device that could fix it. Things turned ugly. Paul Spring was there to stop us. He has superpowers. Jack. Him and me both. We failed. Jack. And of course, time travel was involved. Jack. Going too fast for you? Okay. What do you want to cover first? You tell me. Let's start at the beginning. When you first arrived at Riverport University. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. He wanted to show me what he'd been working on. My brother, Will, was a scientist. He was also involved. Paul said it was world-changing. He was right. Riverport University. Here we are. Hey, thanks for the ride. No problem. You'd been away for six years. Paul and I had kept in touch, but, well, not so much. How did it make you feel? I was just happy to see Paul. Paul. Jack. I just got to the campus. Where are you? God, it's good to hear your voice. Uh, when you hit the courtyard, look right, you'll see this fancy modern physics building with the lights on. I'll meet you inside there. I am so looking forward to this, man. You still haven't told me what this is. I know. See you soon. Why 4 a.m.? Why not wait till morning? Paul had always been a showman. Paul had always been hungry for success. Driven. He made it onto a lot of those top young professionals lists. And now he was coordinating some huge project at the university. It's a big deal for him. You made a long trip just to see a research project? Well, reading between the lines, Paul was under a lot of pressure. <laughs> he needed a friend. I wanted to help him any way I could. Son of a bitch. Jack Joyce. In the flesh. The esteemed Mr. Paul Serene. I'm shaking money bags. Shut up and bring it in. <laughs> Welcome home. <sighs> Six years. And I was starting to think you'd never come back. Yeah, me too. <laughs> come on. This way. We're going upstairs to the project lab. How was the flight? First class. Thank you for that. It's a step up from our van trip to Utah. I missed that van. I'm guessing that Will's not meeting us. He doesn't know we're here. I knew Paul had asked my brother Will to consult on his project. Will was all the family I had, but he was difficult. 
There's more to this than you're letting on. Is it about my brother? Still worry about him, huh? If Will did something wrong, then... Jack, man. Look, I've been tight-lipped about this for a reason. This project we've been working on is going to change the entire world. Uh, why do I smell one of your long-winded presentations on the horizon? I would never. Oh, look. <laughs> a perfectly placed presentation to illustrate the project. Now, who put that there? <laughs> oh, shocking. Okay. Enough joking. The lab's this way, Jack. Come on. We'll get to your lab. I want to see your presentation. I know you love this stuff. Come on, man. Dazzle me. Well, if you insist. Progress. Our primary drive as a species. Over time, we have cured life-threatening illnesses. Explore the world. Oh, good. Going into marketing spiel mode. Don't ruin my flow. But there is one element which denies us true progress. Time itself. Now, I'm not a scientist, but here's how it's being explained to me. We've known that, in theory, a rotating black hole creates a deformation in space-time, potentially allowing travel through both space and time. Years ago, William Joyce, your brother, posited the existence of chronon particles, now known as Meyer-Joyce particles, which fill an all-encompassing field, enabling the constant and steady progression of time. Here at Project Promenade, we have combined both these theories to discover a way to manipulate that field. And the results are staggering. There's more, but that's enough of a primer for now. All right, let's do this. So this is about quantum physics. Paul, you know my brother spent years stuck down that rabbit hole. Is that why you brought Will on as a consultant? When Dr. Kim passed away, your brother was the obvious choice to bring in to replace him. discovery of our time it's impressive but will's the scientist what do you need me for there's a reason we're doing this at 4 a.m jack i need someone i can trust i need you to help me convince will yeah i had a hunch when your brother found out the scope of what we were building here he <laughs> well you know will yeah hang on i gotta get something from my desk will overreacted Scared off the investors, ranting about miscalculations, dangers, all with no evidence. It works, but they're going to cut our funding if I don't prove it. Jack, you know asking for our help is not easy for me. I am in deep trouble. You see, the tests I have to run here are not, strictly speaking, legal. You're the only one I can trust to help me with this. Whatever Will did, I want to make it right. I love my older brother, but he didn't make it easy. It's already essentially set up. Anyone can do it, but you're the one I want to do this with. Jack, thank you. I knew I could count on you. Where does this airlock lead? A better question might be, when does it lead? <laughs> well, that's deep. So, what's this? 
Corridor schematics. Travel clockwise leads to a forward progression in time. Counterclockwise, travel backwards. Oh, it's like you invented a clock. Yes, years ahead of our time. <laughs> I need you to push the lever over there, labeled chronon conduit. That'll activate the core. I'm gonna run diagnostics and make sure it remains stable. Just the Cronon conduit initiating. Are you sure it's supposed to do that? Stable. What was that? The core replicates the effects of a rotating micro black hole, so activating it can be a bit intense. A black hole? What exactly are we testing here? You're about to find out. This way, we've got to raise the corridor. Just like old times, eh? Slightly illegal, moderately reckless. I'd raised some hell with Paul in the past. I could tell this was different. Still, I didn't understand how massive and far-reaching the consequences for this would be. How could I? I knew Paul. He played it cool, but I could tell he was nervous. What's happening? We're really doing this, Jack. It's gonna be amazing. Here, take this. You need this key to activate the corridor. We need to turn the keys at the same time to activate. Security precautions. Ready? It's like we're launching a nuke. Wait, we're not launching a nuke, right? One way to find out. Three, two, one. God damn, Paul. What is this? The corridor. The passenger enters one end, travels around the loop, exits the other, and arrives at the predetermined time in the physical location where the machine is situated in that time. Passenger? Wait, wait, wait. This is a corridor for... You're actually going inside that thing? In the machine, through time. It's a fucking time machine. I'm going to be the first, Jack. And you're my witness. This is crazy, Paul. I mean, this can't be safe. What happens when... Our team has already proved it works in the trial phase. It is ready. We've passed every test, every inspection. We're about to make history, Jack. All you have to do is hit that switch. Two minutes to the past. Remember this moment. <laughs> what? How? It's... <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. Stay calm, Jack. Stay calm. There's... There's two of you. You just fucking multiplied. This is exactly what was supposed to happen. That's... He's... He's me. Future version of me from two minutes in the future. <laughs> Your evil future self. We did it! Fucking incredible. I mean, just... Imagine the implications. We could warn people about disasters before they disasters happen. Before they happen. Cure, cure diseases, diseases before, before they, they spread. spread. I just had this conversation. <laughs> Still sounds good second time. Jesus Christ. Now go into the machine. You need to complete the cycle. Yeah. Yes. Of course. Wait, Paul, what are you doing? It's all a big loop, Jack. I need to enter the machine and travel back to the moment I exited the machine in order to, well, be here. And what if you don't? There is no what if. I'm here, it's already happened. 
You saw it, Jack. We did it. Oh, that's impossible. That's that's literally impossible. I mean, I can't even. There's no time to stop now. We need to test the other direction. Set the machine to five minutes to the future. What are you doing? Oh no. Jack. Will? You have to help me with this. We have to shut this thing down now. No, 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 no. Stop him. Shut up. Hey, hold, hold on. The core. Hold on. We can't shut it down. Paul's still in there. Will. Shut up. Look shut at me. up. Look at me. Put the gun down and we can talk. Okay? No, there's no time. You're not thinking straight. Put the gun down. Jesus Christ, Will. Time is going to end. Jack, you have to trust me. For what? You okay? I think so. I'll find a way out. Make sure Will's okay. Yeah. Okay. I could hear Will's words in my head. Time is going to end. What the hell? This is crazy. This is permanent? Well... Well... She was right all this time. My boy, Paul. This could all have been avoided. We're too late. Jack, your hands. Gotta keep moving. No! Oh. 
You just... What, just... Go. This way. Move. That was the first time my power started to manifest. An out-of-control burst of energy that saved Will. Jack, your proximity to the Pulse, it... It must have altered your relation to the Chrono Will. Field. What I just did back there. What the hell is happening? That's what I'm telling you. Not in the right language. Explosion? Make time go bad. If time is an egg, then that egg is fucking broken. The time egg is fucked. What? Why is there an egg in this? There's a fracture in time. It's breaking down, leading to the end of time and door. Uh, what? Locked. They cut my security clearance. <laughs> uh, that didn't help. Stand back. I'll get it open. Securing the Will. server room. Over. More of them. Hide. They're coming. In here. I warned Paul about this. About the calculations. I tried to make you listen to me. By shoving a gun in my face? Yes, a gun. The universal symbol for shut the fuck up and listen to me. Sound logic is always... Shh, you... Shh, you... Hold up. Here on this side. Okay. We sure he didn't head back up to the lab? He could have gone back and tried to take the service elevator. This doesn't make any sense. How? Why are you even here? That's your biggest concern right now? That comes on route to flush him out. Paul brought me here to clean up your mess. My mess? Do you even... No context for any of this, Jack. You weren't here. A lot happens in six years. This is bigger than us. I can't make it personal. They're trying to kill us, Will. It's pretty goddamn personal. Listen, getting you involved is the last thing I wanted. I... I'm sorry. Right. is only going to get worse. We have to stop this before it's too late. How? I know. This is way out of hand. I'd used a gun before. I'd been in a couple tough spots. Never had an army of pro gunmen chase me. Not good. Not good. There's the elevator to the local. Wait. It's coming down. Hide. Not again.
time's acting up again. No surprise. We have to go. Better team. Have Jack and William Joyce been detained? Did you hear that? They know our names. They knew we'd be here. They must be after the machine. The elevator. It's the only way out. We can't go to your car. Monarch could be expecting that. We have to, Jack. It's important. To fix the fracture. I... I need... We need to get to my car. Okay, just, just walk me through this, Will. Okay, time's broken. Fine. But now you're saying we could fix it? In theory, I built something for such an event years ago. But finding the countermeasure won't be easy. The countermeasure? The what? Okay. What happened? Maybe the door's still open. Let me try. Somehow I could focus and unfreeze Will. Even if the world was still frozen. Stunner. She was right. About the fracture. About all of this. Where's your car? This way. That's... it's... Okay. Okay, Will. Calm down, okay? I'll take care of this. I'll... I'll fight my way through. I'll get the car and I'll bring it around. Are you sure you can handle this? No. Are you sure you can fix time? No. Then we'll call it even. Here. You'll need the keys. Jack, be careful. Yeah, okay, I, I will. What the hell? My powers were growing. I started to sense things, premonitions. Echoes from the past. Just got orders from Monarch Actual. 
They want us to find a car belonging to William Joyce while we're here. Got a plate number? It's coming. It's probably Bora. Supposed to be in I could see an echo of the past. Will, arriving at university. I hope to God I'm not too late. late. But that's... I'm seeing the past. I hope to God I'm not too late. There we go. I hope to God I'm not too late. Something clicked. I could reach out and stop time in a focused Get area. Me. You don't know what you're doing. Well, fuck. They're coming from the left. I gotta get back. Back. Where to God? If you who do you think you are? Taking him to the library. You might still be able to catch them. Why are you helping me? You're with them. It's more complicated then. Look, I don't know if you can make it, but you should hurry. That's the first time you saw Beth Wilder. Yeah, but definitely not the first time she saw me. Will. Will. What the fuck is going on in there? Go, 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 go! 
gotta get to the library. That's where they're taking you. You still had no idea that Wilder was helping you? She wasn't the only one. Uh, nothing. Lights are out across the whole damn campus. Somebody cut the power. This was supposed to be a quiet opportunity. <laughs> Gotta get to the library. Why are you taking me here? It's a library. I need to return some fucking books. HQ, we've got William Joyce in the library. <laughs> Waiting orders. Over. Will. They took him to the library. I gotta find a way in. I gotta get to him fast. Where did that come from? Looks like a way up. Joyce in the library. Uh, Awaiting orders. They got Over. I wonder where the Roger. brother is. Thank <laughs> you. 
fine. I got a whole new batch of messed up shit I need you to explain. We have to hurry. Where's my car? I didn't like the color. Let's get a new one. What? No, Jack. I need them. Ugh. Hold that thought. Shopping. It's a fucking briefcase. A briefcase that contains something I Give need up. in order to stop the fracture. And you didn't think to spell that out to me before. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not too late to leave you here. <laughs> That's part of the messed up shit I need to explain. You got any theories about being able to manipulate time? Then we find Beth Wilder. Why? Who is she? She knows about the fracture. I trust her. Glad you trusted somebody. It's not that simple, Jack. I kept secrets from you to keep you safe. Safe? Look around you, Will. Does this feel safe to you? This isn't my fault. Beth warned me this would happen. I did everything in my power to stop it. But you never told me any of this. I couldn't just... How long have you known? We don't have time for this now, Jack. We have to get to that briefcase. Let's move before more of them show up. Jack! doing only what's necessary think about this you don't know what's at stake i know exactly what's at stake that's why i'm here you believe you can stop what's coming i'm giving you one chance to change your mind this path it's already said it can't be changed the past the future uh, uh, i've seen it i've lived it for 17 years 17 years it was you the first experiment come with me and we can see this through or hold on to your hope burn with it. Now listen, I built a device. I can stop this. I can. You can't. This is madness. There's no harm in trying. There is. That's why I can't risk you opposing me, Will. It doesn't have to end like this. We can't just let this happen. I'll never stop trying. It took me years to come to terms with what must be done. But we don't have years. Wait, wait, wait. <sighs> Trigger. I never wanted this.
My name is Paul Serene. I founded Monarch Solutions 17 years ago with a very clear purpose. There are those who would question my actions. I'm recording this as a final statement of vindication, a testimony of how things came to be. I've always been devoted to my mission, never deterred from my goal, no matter the sacrifice, because I've seen where this leads. I've seen where it all ends. We have a problem. No word from Jack Joyce's transport. It should have arrived here by now. We may have a traitor on the inside. You're due for your treatment. I'll find who's behind this. Find Jack. That's our priority. Get your best man on it. There's more. As you know, Jack's level of interference led to unexpected complications. Witnesses from the university were transported here. You need to take a look. We can't afford any further obstacles at this stage of the plan. Now, I see two options. We could use force, remove any loose ends. But if those witnesses disappear, the public will start All asking clear, questions, sir. potentially turn on Monarch. Mr. Serene? Alternatively, I could mount a broad PR strategy, get the city on our side. But that leaves us with the... The loose ends. Precisely. The choice is yours, but keep in mind, the men will view your decision as a unified strategy moving forward. Sir, who is this? Amy Ferrero. She's one of the witnesses. Awaiting your orders on how to proceed. Decision. My powers grew stronger, even as the Cronon Syndrome worsened. I could choose a path that would become the actual future, but it wasn't optional. The moment wouldn't end until I made up my mind. Any potential threats to our plan need to be erased. Wait! Monarch would take a hardline approach. Crush all obstacles, eliminate all witnesses. It would be harsh. But I had made hard choices for the greater good before. I dug through the area and I found everything I could on your bro. This is messed up, man. I trusted Monarch. But the people of Riverport would turn against us. You our secrets would be safe, but the public would hate us, and Jack would gain new allies. Monarch's got no authority to stop you, and you tell that to everybody on that bridge. Initialize a PR campaign. I want a sting. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. Monarch would take a PR-friendly approach and manipulate the public into siding with us. Our lies would give us control. The manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Joyce. Hey, nobody sneak around down there. Hey, I think that's Jack Joyce! We'd use the media to expose, then hunt for Jack. I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch security station. But the eyewitnesses would be out there, and Jack would learn our secrets. We can't risk any unwanted attention. Convince the witnesses not to talk. Keep eyes on them and send them home. 
Initialize a PR campaign. We need the city on our side. Not this one. She's the head of the anti-monarch movement. I think we're looking at the new face of our campaign. Jack! There's no other way out. We're going through the machine. Oh, wait, no! Jack! This way! Jack! I use my power to guide us. To decide how to best prepare for the inevitable end of time. That gives the chosen few a chance to survive. I've seen the end of time. Time's up. The one in the middle, I assume that's your mother. On the left, of course, your father. And on the right, the little one. How old is she? One fourteen Lafayette. Is that correct? That was taken not five minutes ago by my associate, Michael. What do you want? I want a statement. And you don't want Michael outside of your house a moment longer. What happens to me? Well, that's entirely up to you. Okay, I'll do it. I'm so glad we could work this out. Seems your work's been undone. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. How the fuck does that happen? Knowing how isn't important, you just need to find him. Wincott is working on a location. Great. What is it? What? Something's wrong. University. That's not how we operate. It was sloppy. Have all your operations gone smoothly? Go home, Liam. Wait for the call. I'm sure your wife misses you. Good thing about our friend Stan, 
His stand makes it easy. See, the guy goes around using the same username and password everywhere he goes. Now, <laughs> that means that his cloud isn't so protected. May I present to you Exhibit A. <laughs> wow, God, this guy's swinging for the fences. And what is that? What are you doing, Bear? Coffee cup. No, I know it's a coffee cup, but what is it doing on my table? The fuck? You know what this is? Do they have these in Idaho? Iowa. Whatever. Use it. You tell me what's next, Brenner? I don't know. I know you don't know. And that makes me sad for you. All we do now is upload our girl's video to Stan and our friends at WZWY, send Stan a note with some of his private pics, and last but not least, we post the letter. That letter allows Reclaim to take full responsibility for everything that's happening. Signed sincerely, your local terrorist, Jack Joyce. You can say it. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Mr. Hatch, perfect timing. Me and Brenner, we just dug up some major dirt on uh, <laughs> on our news director over at WZWY. He'll be uh, he'll be running our copy and posting that girl's video within an hour. Good work, Woodcock. Where are we with Joyce? Joyce? Uh, well, I I got a lock on his transpo. I'm mean, I've hacked into his camera. And I'm waiting to find a locale. It's not it's not it's not incredibly easy. Keep an eye on it, and when you find him, contact Burke directly. I think we have a traitor in our midst. Traitor. Hello? Hello, man. I'll let you go, Mr. Hatch. Thank you. Was that Martin Hatch? Get the fuck out of my office. Get the fuck out of my office. Things have been really bad at work. I'm sorry. I just... I dreamt you were a cat. A cat? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> these big furry bear paws. Way too big for your body. It was a strange creature. But I knew it was you. I have to get back to work soon. You work more than any field manager in the history of field managers. <sighs> Baby, you haven't been home in two days. Your mom's being difficult. Oh, I'm, I'm, she is. I'm she's being, being difficult, huh? She's being very difficult. <laughs> what is um, it? What? <laughs> I don't think that's the God. baby. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. You would. <laughs> Okay, go. 
Yeah. Burke, we got a lead on Joyce. What is it? I was able to track his transport to a warehouse on Burgundy and Wilkins. It's inside Ground Zero Perimeter. Sending you the coordinates now. rebuild this great city, transforming it into an economic powerhouse over the past research and design. And with Monarch's greatest investment in the future being right here in Riverport, it's pretty clear how bright the future is for all of us. Paul, there's been a development. Jack, you've already seen it. Tonight on the island, he'll be there and he'll want revenge. I need him stopped now. I think our focus may be somewhat misguided here. Your fifth calm traitor? You shouldn't take it so lightly. Joyce got lucky. He escaped. He's gone. He wouldn't be foolish enough to come back. Our only vulnerability is within, Paul. You should see that. Telling me what I've already seen. You're not thinking clearly. You need your treatment. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Martin. But let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. And I simply don't want to see you go down with it. Just find him. We take you now to Riverport University, where a violent showdown shook the town last night. Joining us now is Amy Ferraro, an eyewitness on the scene. Amy, tell us, what is going on here? There were people from our group who took things too far. Things got very violent. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. I want people to know that he is a very dangerous person, a terrorist. You bacon and egg sandwiches? Oh, Sounds like a terrifying thanks. down there. We really appreciate your bravery going on record to speak out against what appears to be such a dangerous person. What's up, IT? And you wish I was IT. Hey, you don't have security clearance being here. Security clearance. Access granted. I thought you might have been up all night, so. You didn't get the runny kind, did you? No, it shouldn't be. It's cool there now. Oh, man. Fiona Miller. Terminated. You're fired. So what the what's the four one one? What the hell's going on out there? <laughs> the four one one. Yeah, the four one one. Everything's everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. There was a shootout at the university last night. Nothing I couldn't handle. All right. Do you think they're going to cancel the party tonight? Are you kidding? No way. Hatch knows what he's doing. 
You gonna go? To a party? Me? Go to a party. Ah. We can roll together if you want. Okay. Yeah, all right, I'll, I'll go. Okay, buddy. What are you gonna wear? Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll go naked. Nice, I like that. Um, I gotta get back to my desk, so. See you tonight? Yeah. I'll see you tonight. Yep. Buddy. And this isn't what it looks like. Fuck, Beth. I really didn't want it to be you. You need to listen to me. Step away from the van. Step away! Right now! Drop the gun. I can't do that. You've three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. Then you're a marksman for shit. No. No! Do you see what's happening? The starters. More and more. Beth, Beth, what is, what is going on? Time is breaking down. The end is coming, and Joyce could be the key. Wait, 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 wait the, the, the end, the end of what? Beth, the end of what? Of the end time, of what? Of time, of time, of life as we know it. The entire universe gone, and somehow, Monarch has been preparing for it. They knew it was coming. There's this thing. It's called a lifeboat protocol, and it can save us, at least some of us. Put your hands on your head, down on your knees. Brown. Wilder, do not make me ask again. Oh. Joyce just took down half my men. You think maybe he had some help? We're unarmed. I was responding I to I not give call. a fuck. Hey, I am with Monarch. On your knees! If they take me in, then it's the end for me. And for you. Down! I'm just do what he says. Do not let them take us. We'll never find a lifeboat. Think about Emily. Just relax. Liam! Shut up! This lifeboat protocol, what is it? I don't know, but Dr. Kim was at the center of it. Dr. Kim? If you can get into his lab. That's impossible. It's been closed up since he disappeared. Do you know anyone who could get you in?
employees. The food trucks will be parked outside till 2 30. Charlie! I need a favor. Yeah. Okay, um, could we talk somewhere private? Uh, you'd really rather not. But in your office would be good. It'll be really quick. Yeah. So what happened with Joyce? Oh, there was nothing there. Huh, there was nothing there? He, like, he just wasn't there, like, or what? No, Hatch, he, um, he reassigned me. He wants me to secure the perimeter lab on the island. He thinks Joyce might go there. He sent me here to get access to it. Can you help me out? Yeah, sure. Let me uh, let me see what I can do. Thank you. You know, it's really funny that you say that uh, that lead on Joyce was no good because I don't know. Uh, it sure looks like he was there. And that other guy kind of looks like you, but that's weird because you work for Monarch, and that guy clearly. <laughs> Clearly, does not work for Monarch. Yeah, I can zoom in. Hey, hey, wait, stop killing me! Because I just put a high security alert out on your ass. You got about 20 seconds. You're bluffing. Hey, you're welcome to stick around and try to find out. You know what I'm going to do to you. I have a pretty good idea what Monarch's going to do to you. In about 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Good luck, buddy. Nine, eight. We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. Listen up, he's on level B near the main overpass. Just a reminder to Monarch employees, get your flu shot. We are free of charge. Get him in HR. Structure. I repeat, south parking structure, fourth floor.
Okay, he's heading south on Eastman, south on Eastman. <laughs> Let's talk about the dry dock incident. Monarch operatives transported you from the university to the ground zero operation at the shipyard. Still upset about that, huh? You were secured, unconscious. Well, uh... Liam Burke went to retrieve you, and you were gone. How? Sleepwalking. Step away, right now. You have three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. And you're a marksman. We know Beth Wilder assisted you in some manner. Then I'm guessing you know the rest. No, because everybody who saw what you did next is now dead. I didn't have a clue where I was or why. Never questioned it because it didn't feel real. Still waiting to wake up.
Okay. Doesn't last. No, it When the fracture broke time, some objects became... unstable. With my new abilities, I can manipulate their timelines, rewind them. For me at the dry dock. I'm heading to the island. Roger. We'll have the chopper. Seeing Paul's face on that screen, it was some kind of sick reminder. I couldn't escape what had happened, what he did. I needed to know why, but part of me wanted to put a fucking bullet in his head before he could open his mouth. Want us to send additional teams to search for Joyce? Negative. Focus efforts in our PR campaign. Amy for. Hey. What's Reaper Squad doing with those video cameras up in A3? Looks like some bitch named Amy's gonna be the poster girl for Serene's PR campaign. Filming confession videos. This elevator looks like the only way out of here. There's gotta be a generator around here somewhere. Okay. Looks like that elevator needs power. No power. Figures. There we go. The hell is that? Hello? Jack, this is Beth Wilder. Beth? I'm... You're the one my brother was looking for. I'm the one who was attempting to rescue your ass until you decided to go on a gun-blazing ship parade through that warehouse. Now listen closely. You're at the outskirts of a Monarch Cronin harvesting operation, and Paul Serene is at the dry docks nearby. Not a recipe for fun times. So how about... Dry docks. If Paul's at the dry docks, then that's where I'm... No! Fracture is our only priority now. Time is... We'll see. 
Shad here. We'll stay. My best friend came back a goddamn monster. He knew this would happen. He prepared for it. But Paul's the key to understanding all this. And I'm gonna find him. They both know that if you find Serene, you're not gonna be asking questions. Think this through. Paul was at the dry docks in the distance. I recognized a place. William had a workshop in that industrial area for years. I knew that couldn't be a coincidence. just went out but hats wants a follow-up confession you got the script yeah this one's more reflective like wish we could undo what we done sort of deal dave will feed you the lines dave you're using your names you're not letting me go are you you're never letting me go please Wait, you know me? What's going on? I am so sorry. I didn't want to, but they made me do it. They made you do what? What is this place? They forced me to make false confessions for the news, I think. I'm so sorry, Jack. They were armed. Hey, whatever you did, it's not your fault. None of this is your fault. I'm just glad you're okay. Listen, I need to get to the dry docks. Do you know the way? Uh, no, uh, no, I don't think so. But they took me in through a security station nearby. I can help you find a way through there. I owe you. The security station is right over there. <sighs> oh, I knew Marnock had a dark side, but this? They're controlling the entire media, everything. They can't cover this up. It's too big. <laughs> they can, trust me. Locked. Ah, okay, there must be a gate control around somewhere. Yeah, I'll check. Monarch's twisting the story for the media, claiming the protest went hostile and that we <laughs> detonated the library. They're blaming you, Jack. I'm Paul Scapegoat. This isn't good. Once that newscast goes live, the whole city is going to be against you. Nobody's gonna have a clue of what really happened. Do you think the others are okay from the university? Hey, it worked. It's not holding long. I don't think you're fast enough. That can be fixed. You need to get to this side of the gate somehow. Jack, you need to get to this side somehow. I'm not 
going anywhere until you're on this side of the gate. My god, you're just... You're just like them. Like who? I saw them on the way in. These... geared-up soldiers that... blink in and out. Okay. Well, that's something to look forward to. You know, I thought I was losing my mind when I saw that. You're part of this. I need to know what's going on. You really want to open that can of worms? You just defied physics. I'm entitled to all the worms. We're locked out. Maybe you can climb through that open window on the second floor? Yeah, that should work. Wait here. Okay, well, I'll fill you in with what I know, but when you put the pieces together, it all goes banana pancakes. So everyone thinks that Monarch is run by this smarmy asshole named Martin Hatch, but everyone here answers to a guy named Paul Serene. And apparently he founded Monarch in 1999.
Now, here's the thing. Paul Serene is the exact name of a guy who was heading some top secret physics project at my university. So it's gotta be the same guy, right? Wrong. Now, I heard that Monarch was there to steal the project from the university, but why would you steal something from yourself? Also, I saw that guy Paul Serene on campus once, and he looked like 30 years old. So if he started Monarch in 1999, that would make him 14. So unless he's a Dookie Hauser of corporate America, that's impossible. Banana fucking pancakes. So Paul founded Monarch. Need to get up to that old window. Is that another one of those rewind things? I'm starting to get the hang of this. All right. Let's go. Made it. Now to get to that door. Ferraro, an eyewitness on the scene. Amy, tell us, what is going on here? There were people from our group who took things too far. Shit. Things got very violent. I'm so sorry, Jack. And they forced me to do it. I, I know. Of Jack Joyce. There's nothing it you could have like done. A terrifying scene down there. We really that map over there should help you figure out a route. Record to speak out against what appears to be such a dangerous person. Jack, we should take a look at. Ground Zero. That's the same area my brother used to have his workshop. 
I may have to pass through there to get to Paul. Paul? As in Paul Serene? That's why you're going to the dry docks. We have unfinished business. You may want to stay here until I'm done. Yeah. I think you're right. I'll open the door for you. Okay. Stay in contact. Find a radio. I'll be on channel three. And be careful. Yeah. You too. Still no word on Joyce's location. Yeah, heard his brother scream like a bitch when he died. When he shows his face, I'll make him do the same. Son of a... We're under attack! Did I scream enough for you? My powers were unpredictable. They kept growing by leaps and bounds. Take cover! Still kicking. Monarch radio is lighting up. They heard a noise and know you're coming. Be careful out there. Thanks for the heads up. Contact! Oh, great. Shotgunner advancing on hostile! Mother. Okay, 
out there? Yeah. Any idea where I go next? Well, before you said hi, Gatehouse Squad was talking about activating security measures to lock some door on the second floor. That's a start. Thanks. Looks like a way out. Now, how do I get it open? Hey, just turned off security. Uh-oh. Jack, they're coming your way. 